welcome back. Hey, uh, sorry about last month's video. There was a, uh, a bad uh, microphone on my camera. I've got a new camera now, so hopefully it's a lot better than it was. Um, it just took me a little bit to get the camera because I had to file a complaint, so on and so forth. But anyway, I wanted to recap what we did last month. Let's show you some of the new things that we have going right now. Uh, one of them is, of course, our nice little four inch shroud that covers the upper vents on the, on the bit main machines for the uh, L3 pluses, the D3 15s, the A3s, and the D3 19s. Um, this one uh, right here uh, obviously fits the uh, L3 plus. We made some changes to it because uh, yeah, we made it to where it's now notched out so it actually fits the fan cables and it fits over the screws. Um, We'll go ahead and uh, get a better look at that. Uh, hopefully that uh, helps you out there. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the way that we have it set up now uh, actually fits better, fits snugger, gives a, it gives a nice little, seals the gap in between the machines, um, and uh, just seems to work all around, uh, all around a lot nicer than it used to. But we also uh, released a 4-inch uh, shroud this, this month. Because um, uh, uh, a lot of people are asking for the 4-inch shroud for the S9s and for intakes on their machines and for uh, older machines or other company machines that only have the 120 millimeter fan. So we've come up with a 4-inch shroud, but we just didn't make it a 4-inch shroud. We made it extra thick. Um, we made it extra thick so that way we can actually, uh, or it can actually handle overclocking temperatures instead of warping out while you're overclocking. So that's uh, that's uh, one of the advancements we made in the uh, or did for the four-inch shrouds. So now we have them for the intakes. And as you can see, this is a D3, so it'll fit your 120 millimeter fan perfectly. And then we have the outtake for the D3s, the L3s, and the A3s. Um, but there is two of these. There's one that's about a half inch taller that fits this machine. As you can see, I got an L3 Plus one on here, but I still have a gap at the top over here. Uh, this gap is because uh, the other machine is just a little bit taller. Uh, very simple to find out which machine you have, though. Um, and so far, I've only found these on the D3s and the A3s now. Uh, but there's a real simple way to actually find out the difference here and it has to deal with measuring from the top of the fan on the back to the top so on these it's almost two inches for the, for the actual uh, larger case for the smaller case it's about an inch and a half so it's about a half inch difference in between the two different cases so you want to make sure that you specify which one you want you want the the, we're going to call this one the uh, D3-15 uh, and 17.2. Well, uh, and then the bigger one that fits the other machine, we're going to pretty much call that the, the uh, D3-19.5 and the A3 shroud. But we also went as far, uh, this we brought out last month, but I, obviously the video was so low quality because the volume was not there, so you couldn't hear what I was talking about. We now have a six inch shroud for this. Uh, this one uh, is on the wrong machine, obviously, because it's a half inch too shy. I ran out of the other ones because they sold out on me the other day before I made this video. So now uh, I've got more of them in production, but it's a two-piecer. Um, and you've got a front plate, which this front plate will be universal between both pieces, but it's four six inch. So you can put a six inch hose on this, a six inch vent, whatever you want to do. Then we have the new six inch right here, the new six inch uh, shroud for intake. Um, I put on one of my old S3s, S, S3 pluses, uh, but uh, it's six inch intake or output. Uh, you can use this on the S9 for the output because it's just a 120 millimeter fan going out. But because you want more airflow on that, you want the bigger vent, trust me, on this one. You, and the A3 because the A3 gets really hot. Um, but you want the bigger vent because of that. The uh, it'll give you more airflow, uh, 
get that hot air out of your uh, system a lot faster, um, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to at that point. Uh, as you can see though, on the 4-inch shroud, we made it such a nice tight fit, we put a little lip around the edge so that when you put your hose on it, it literally won't come off unless you take it off. You've got to force this this hose off of the actual vent, so, or off of the shroud. So uh, those are some of the things that we've uh, been doing. But like I said, we got the 4-inch uh, intake or output if you've got the, uh, S, the S9 or uh, any of the other machines. It'll also fit other mach other manufacturers' machines too that have the 120 millimeter fan. Uh, you, uh, you just gotta buy it and try it, I guess. But anyway, we're selling these in a uh, five pack because um, yeah, it doesn't make sense to sell them any less than that unless we get special requests because the shipping just eats up any type of profit in this. In between the shipping and this vent, if we were to ship just one, we would actually be negative cash flow on it. Actually, if we ship two, we're still negative cash flow on it. But we've got a, a fix for that too. So you've got one machine and you want an input and an output. We're going to start selling them in packages with the output. So we're going to have the input and the output together. Um, and you'll actually save money on the overall cost in between the two because it's a package deal. Uh, you'll save a couple dollars in between both of them combined. So it gives you a chance to cover both of your needs at once uh, for a cheaper price. Um, that, I hope that uh, <laughs> helps out with a lot of people. We'll even uh, sell the, like I said, we're selling these in a 5-pack uh, and a 10-pack right now. Um, and we do make a deal on them. We do actually uh, cut the price down on them if you find us on uh, eBay. Uh, and make a deal on it. We'll uh, cut them down a little bit in price, but we can't go too far or else we uh, end up going negative on the actual product. And uh, anything in business, you just can't do that. Uh, anyway, it, I was talking about the difference in sizes. This is the uh, bigger shroud. This is one of our older ones. As you can see, it's still a little uh, not, uh, not cleaned up as much. But see the difference in height in between the two, if I match it up. You can actually physically see the difference in height in between this machine and this machine. So it, the, the height is a big thing with these <laughs> in order to get your proper airflow and, and uh, exhaust in and out. Uh, so anyway, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me some comments about them. Uh, if you want to purchase them directly from me, go ahead and leave me some comments about that and I'll tell you where you can go to actually get them. Uh, we're, our new website, uh, SPC Crypto, at the making of this video, was one day to two days away from being released, uh, hopefully. <laughs> we're, we're just fixing a couple more small glitches in it. Uh, we're setting up a Bitcoin payment system to where you'll be able to pay in Bitcoin, uh, hopefully Litecoin, Ethereum, Dashcoin, and a couple others. Uh, that's one of the things we're trying to do on that. We're also going to allow other people, if they've got machines they want to sell, if they've got products they want to sell, anything for the market that they want to sell, they can contact us and we will give them a portal to the store and allow them to get in there and post their own stuff uh, to uh, help them move their products. Uh, we're creating the site to try and, I guess you can say, bring all the purchasing and sales together in one location so that way it helps the whole crypto uh, community. Um, we're going to be charging less fees for posting than eBay um, or any of the other companies out there. Uh, we're going to also um, be promoting our site. Uh, you should start seeing some ads coming up about it here real soon. Uh, but uh, we're hoping that everything that we're going to do from now on has uh, positive impacts in the uh, actual mining community because uh, we're just about the quality of what you're doing. You keep the t uh, machine temperatures down your uh, profits can go up. The length of your machine life can go up. Here, <laughs> here's another thing. You can sit physically see the difference in the height of the machines too. So that right there kind of gives you a, a good idea of uh, what you're looking at too. Let's turn this around. But yeah, you can see the difference 
as compared to each other. So I take the other shroud, boom, and it covers that extra extra gap up there. Uh, you take the uh, smaller shroud, see the difference in the gap. There's a huge difference. That's uh, open space for your for your uh, exhaust to get out into the room. So, like I said, any questions? Go ahead and email me. Go ahead and contact me. Uh, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you see any way that we can improve our designs a little bit, uh, don't be afraid to tell me either. Um, when we do ship these new shrouds, though. We will be shipping them with this on there, and it's just something that you can just cut off real quick with a pair of wire cutters. Uh, you know, the reason why we're going to be shipping them that way is because uh, less chance of the shroud breaking in shipment. It actually gives it more stability. Um, I mean, they're pretty, pretty solid as they are, but we just want to make sure that you get your items and you get them in good working condition. We even take care of it. If you get an item that's not in good working condition, we'll go ahead and send you one back out after we receive some pictures showing us what type of damage happened to it. Uh, um, but anyway, there's another subject I wanted to touch on. It's one that really... Uh, I, don't, I don't like what Bitmain's doing at this point. They, uh, they did it last year with the D3s, they put so many of these D3s out so fast, they killed the whole algorithm and dropped the profitability down to almost nothing. I can't even make machine uh, money with my D3s anymore where I live in the state of California. Um, now they're doing it again with the A3s. They're going to over flood the market. They're going to allow so many of them out there so fast. To kind of give you an idea of how bad they're going to kill the market on this, the whole A3 uh, market before the uh, A3 machines came out, the whole uh, hash rate for the entire uh, system was 684 gigabyte, uh, gigs, giga hashes. Now, with uh, what Bitmain has done, um, one machine, 800 giga hashes. They're literally doubling, more than doubling the hash rate of that network just off of one machine going out okay so now that one machine goes out so your profitability is cut in half now imagine them releasing two to ten thousand machines per month what's the profitability on that going to be so i'm kind of protesting this with bitmain i think it's a bad idea to buy one because uh, it's just going to be like the d3 you'll make money uh maybe two or three weeks and then after that you're kind of out of your money um the uh it, it, last i checked on the a3s to run one a3 machine the profitability on it was only about 32 dollars a day for one machine and that's before the new batch comes out here in just another couple of weeks that new batch comes out that profitability is going to go down to about 15 dollars a machine and then a couple of weeks after that uh, when they release the next batch your profitabilities can go down to about seven or eight dollars per machine. It's the D3 all over again, and Bitmain has no shame whatsoever, over flooding the markets, causing the profitability to crash. Um, and I think that's wrong. I really do. I think that's a bad business move on their part, and it's a bad business move to even get involved with that. Uh, so anyway, like I said, any comments you have, any questions you have. Uh, go ahead and uh, write me some uh, questions. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer them as fast as I can. I usually try to answer every single one that comes at me as fast as I can. Uh, sometimes it'll take me a day or two. Uh, but most of the time I get them usually within 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes an hour after they've been asked. So I hope uh, this answers some questions, and I hope uh, everybody's having uh, a good day. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Because uh, now with uh, YouTube's new algorithm, the more thumbs up you get, the better your rating is. Uh, they've, they've got a different way of rating it. Um, it's just a completely different uh, system than it used to be. But uh, any questions, any comments, any concerns... 
just go ahead and let me know um, and uh, I'll try to address them as quick as I can uh, thank you for watching and hope you subscribe to my channel because uh, I'm still about 450 subscribers shy at this point from uh, actually being a full-fledged YouTube partner again but I'm gonna try and release more videos trying to get more people in trying to get some more excitement raised on the on the channel like when I first uh, really started pushing it uh, about September or so anyway have a nice day and uh, I'll see you next time